given the fact that everyone's expecting the Fed to cut rates, possibly, if you believe the market, six times this year, <laughs> what do you think is sort of the end place for this rate cutting cycle? I mean, I think we end up at 3.5% at the very end of this rate cutting cycle, something like that. Um, and, uh, you know, long term rates at 4 to 4 or 5, you know, something like that in the, in the very long run. Um, but, uh, you know, we're, I, I, I think what happens in the next year, the six rate cuts, that's a pipe dream if we have a soft landing. That's not happening. Uh, we'll get two or three. But there is a chance, I've said, the one thing we can probably be sure of is that whatever the consensus is here, and not just here, it's going to be wrong. <laughs> and if we get a deep recession, and definitely it could happen. How is it going to happen? I don't know. But... 25% uh, chance it happens. Well, they will cut rates a lot, not six times. They could cut rates, you know, 15 times. I'm not if I'm doing the math right, but a lot of times, you know, uh, to if that happens, they're going to drive interest rates to 1%. So that could be built into that six rate cuts, possibly. 